Señor, hoy levantamos nuestro corazón. Today we hoy lift up our hearts. Mirada, Today we cielo. lift up our eyes hoy to the heavens. Una vez más we look upon you, de tu presencia, the place of your presence, de tu gloria. the place of your glory. Desciende una vez más sobre Descend nosotros. upon us. Señor, ciertamente hemos sentido Surely we have felt in this time el crecimiento de tu the growth of your spirit, of your presence Señor, in our sentimos a la vez que es una hora uh, At the same time, we also notice it's a time where darkness has grown. Also, this is a time where the Holy Spirit Señor, is working. Estás encontrando los tuyos you are finding aman, those that love you, that, this, Señor, that offer themselves up to you, to worship you, to praise you. They offer their hearts to look for your Señor, glory. Manifest yourself once again this afternoon. Manifest yourself once again in our lives that your glory fill us. Take away from us all the excuses, the distractions, the problems, the issues that want to somewhat take away from God's glory. Natural things, the feelings, uh, situations in our life that want to capture our attention. This, this moment belongs to God. This moment belongs to the Lord. This moment belongs to Jesus Christ. All the glory belongs to him and we declare not only over our lives but over our church over our nation this is the time of God this is the time of your glory this is the time that your presence manifests in power over those that belong to you and certainly there is an anointing for those that are searching and seeking you for those that even through all things they hold on unto you Jesus and they do not let you go. Today we hold on to you. Today our hearts are so close to you. They, we want you, Lord. We want to be with you above all else. That's why that we offer ourselves to you. Renew our, the song in our hearts. Renew the praise. Renew the worship. Renew our spirit. Renew the way we see and seek. Cantaría sin parar por lo que hiciste en mí. Danzaría siempre, oh Dios, por tu gran amor. Arde mi corazón para poder decir que me has salvado y borraste mi pasado. Señor, quiero gritar hacia todo lugar. Que si tú estás por mí, quieres contra mí, cantaría sin parar con lo que hiciste en mí. Y adoramos, cantaría siempre Dios por tu gran amor. Tu gran amor. Cantaría sin parar por lo que hiciste en mí. Danzaría siempre Dios por tu gran amor. Cantaría sin parar por lo que hiciste en mí. Danzaría siempre Dios por tu gran amor. Somos felices, estamos cantando, pues somos libres. Si te pudiéramos guiar, contemplar a tu sonreír, a tu sangre de danzar, porque el gozo está aquí. We love you, Lord. We give you our hearts. We lift up our lives before you. It's that offering that is beautiful for you. I will seek the place of your presence. Oh, how I desire to be with you. 
Oh, how I desire to be with you, Lord. I desire to be there at the place of your feet. My heart just desires to be close to you. I worship you. I worship you. I worship you. I worship you. It is my heart that offers itself once again to you. It's my heart that offers itself in praise. Tonight, Lord, I cannot let this time go by but to bow before Thee and bless Thee and thank You for all that You have done during these last weeks. Something that was only possible that You would do it. And thank you because you have fulfilled beyond our expectations and capacities. You did beyond what we thought was possible. Defeating all that was not possible for us, all that was too difficult. Raising us. Helping us opening the doors before us. Only a God like you can do this. And Lord, tonight my heart wants to do this. Recognize that you are God. Recognize that that you can do everything. You can reach everything. You fulfill everything. And Lord, I have, a, I have a security in my heart that you have fulfilled everything that you have said up to now. There's an expectation in my heart. It beats in my heart an anticipation of the things that that you are doing already and that you're releasing that you are preparing to advance to continue to reach all that is in your heart and your desire Lord tonight I take this moment to bless you. Only a great God, only a powerful God, only a faithful God, 
Only Almighty God can do the things that you do. And Lord, the miracles that you do are great, are marvelous. But beyond even the miracles, all the blessings, it is that you present yourself, that you would come, that you would manifest your glory, your presence. And for that, Lord, I thank you. I thank you. I bless you. It is the opportunity that each one of us have in this time together in the house of God to tell him with your own words, Lord, you are great. I thank you for being my God, for fulfilling what you have promised, those things that you have promised you have done, and you have done it beyond our expectations, much more abundantly than what we had thought or imagined. Oh, we bless you, Lord. We bless you tonight. We bless you. We thank you. Lord, we give back the glory and the honor. It belongs to you. Lord, this is not the work of man. Only you have done, and it belongs to you. All the glory belongs to you. The reason of all, it's because you desired it. And what you desired, you have done. And you shall continue doing so. And you shall fulfill it. Thank you, Lord, tonight. Lord, we bless you. We will sing of your greatness. We will sing of your marvelous miracles. We will sing of your name. Name that is exalted. Oh, I will bless thee. Bless him. That it is. I bless you, O oh Lord. You are my God. You, my God. With our voices, with our song, with the tones of glory, with the echoes of His presence, with the Spirit, Oh, I bless you, Lord. I bless you, Lord. I exalt you, Lord. I will raise my voice to you. I will raise up my heart unto you. Tonight I have felt to make a pause because we have lived things that God has done so beautiful and wonderful in these last weeks. Some of those things you have perceived it through the images that were transmitted through internet 
it's more than what a image or a connection through internet can be. It's the connection of the heart. And when we look for the reasons, well, why does God come? Well, we could say it's because we prayed, we made a sacrifice, we took a large effort in seeking His face. And all things that we must conclude tonight, it is not only those reasons. Though it is true that we must seek God and pray, and it's necessary that we bring uh, a message with faithfulness. It's necessary to sacrifice to seek God. The reason why He does, why He comes, because he is faithful. That is the reason behind everything. It's the cause behind all revival. A reason why a nation is considered by grace by God. Because he is faithful. Lord, I believe not only in the global, but I also believe individually in each life. I am what I am because of the grace of God. There is no other. I have what I have because of the grace of God. I reach what I have reached because God is faithful, because God answers, because God is faithful, and He is true. And I would like tonight that before we share the word and the testimonies of what God is doing, I would like all of us to come together and tell the Lord you are faithful. How great thou art. How great is our faith. We can see our own lives, our surroundings. We can consider the work of God in our church, in our lives, in our nation. We can consider the things that God has done and we have shared. Before all that, there's an only one answer. And that, that answer is, you are faithful. So, close your eyes tonight and tell it to him. You want to take the hand of those that are beside you. You want to share and celebrate God's faithfulness with someone else. Maybe with your wife, with your friends, with your sons, daughters. Do it tonight in honor to Him, in honor to Jesus, in honor to His faithfulness. I will say hi to everyone is looking this video and especially the people that were in the conference in Orlando each one of you I want to tell you how special was that time for us and what special was the time in the Lord and that is what we want today to explain to really talk about the things that God showed there and that God showed after the conference they are very important for the future and for the things that God will do. Queremos compartir con ustedes todo lo que Dios hizo en la conferencia de Orlando, no solamente como testimonio de un viaje porque viajamos continuamente, también fuimos a Taiwán, también fuimos a California, Taiwan, California, pero la importancia que importance tiene lo que sucedió has, porque de ahora en más es una primicia on, these are the first fruits from God and from the things that God will do. That's why it's so important. It's because these are the first fruits that we are experiencing of the things that God will perform during this time. 
La llegada And nuestra después de un viaje de 24 servicios muy preciosos en Taiwán y unos 5 o 6 más en California, llegábamos con todo ese peso y cansancio de viaje normal, de tantos servicios. Creo que el lunes, martes y miércoles quiero anunciar esto porque es tan precioso. Monday or Tuesday, I want to tell you this. It's so precious that people are willing to be in the services every day, even the weekdays, especially in Taiwan. They would say, it doesn't matter which days you give to us. It doesn't matter if it is Monday or Tuesday. People are so willing, it's so precious. They are so hungry for God. They are so thirsty for God. We go to Taiwan. Y de, llegábamos de Taiwán a Estados Unidos y nos Actually, íbamos a encontrar con toda la gente que States, llegaba we de diferentes lugares. Algunos venían de Taiwán, Estados Unidos, otros de Sudamérica, Estados Unidos, otros de 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 Estados Unidos, otros de
a terrible storm is coming to the city of Orlando. The city is getting prepared. She told me some people are canceling because the planes cannot fly. Some people are canceling. They cannot come to the conference because each one of the people that came to the conference, they had to rent the, a room, they had to pay for the, for the flight and the food. It was a sacrifice for each person that came to the conference. Algunos estaban cancelando Some of them were can cancelling because in all the country there was this news that it was a very, very strong storm, something very powerful. When she, when she told me that, I rebuked it in my mind immediately. I really rebuked it. I want that to come into my mind. It's no over. Está. This is not coming no into my mind or our hearts. We will do as if we had never si heard that before. No vamos a tomar and we will go on. No vamos a we hacer won't do anything else. Nada. We es won't más, take any preventions. We didn't even ¿verdad? tell the Uruguayans that this was coming. You saw it in the news, I think. Come, Elsie, come, please, for a minute. Come beside me. Did you see it in the news? Yes, we saw the announcement of the storm, and well, yes, it was a hurricane, actually. And we said, well, what are we going to do? And we all look at each other and we said, well, nothing, we will go on, like always, well, we always do with God. We saw some clouds, and that was it. <laughs> we didn't see anything. But I want to tell you that while that was coming down, I forgot the storm completely because I was so involved in the things that were going to happen. And I know it was so important. I know it was an historical time. I know that something that has to be performed. So that was small at that time. When we went on, we went to the room, to the new room, to a new place, and people were arriving from many places. And the people who were in charge of the audio no me couldn't make the things el work. No the audio didn't work. Más, yo tuve que tomar un Even no more, when, when I had to y use a microphone, it didn't work. How are, were we going to preach? And we had microphones Era. with wires, Nada de very hard to use. But nothing could stop Ese what we had to do for God. That very first day, didn't, we didn't care. We had a very bad audio in a very beautiful place. But I want to tell you that these details are very important. And you will notice at the end. But you will see how and why the details are, are important. No. No more bad signs could there be to be able to have a normal service because you need to have some music, good microphones, because your throat needs the, those things to work. But God, in a wonderful way, when the music started, he made a miracle. The people started opening their hearts as if they had ever been able to do it all the time. There were people that we hadn't seen for more than 20 years. Some of them, there were 15 or 20 years that we hadn't seen them. They appeared to be used to be in the presence of the Lord. In a moment when the pastor started praising, we were as a body of Christ in harmony. It was extraordinary. God had said he would open the heavens to create a place of refuge in Orlando. And the heavens opened and brothers literally I will tell you what I saw literally I saw how the cloud of the presence of God came down and it no había the corazón there were no hearts who, were not, who weren't no había vida. there were no lives I know that some of the people are here and you experienced it come here Silvia please is it this way the way I see, I'm saying it Come Augusto, come Cesar, come Elsie, come Patricia, please draw near me.
Es como lo estoy diciendo. Is it the way I'm Dígame telling dos it? palabras del culto. Tell me two words about the service. God was there from the beginning. We didn't have to make any efforts. It was amazing. The service was tremendous. It was explosive, from even from the beginning, and it was growing. Thank God, I was able to see what you said the last day. It was even more the last day. I had the privilege to be there and see that cloud too. There was a specific day on Saturday that the people didn't want to leave. The pastor said, well, the service is over. We will see you tomorrow. But the people didn't want to leave. I want to, st I want to say that what the pastor says is true. It was this, as a very unique people. We hadn't seen those people for many years. Some of them had been in Uruguay once, and they were so thirsty for God, so hungry for God. And the moment the service started, we were united, and we were able to see that something. We, we, were, we were feeling that we were only one people united, and that anointed poor doubt, and the people were so hungry and thirsty for God that we, we, weren't, we weren't able to believe it. Those people gathered only once, and this is what we experience every Wednesday and Sunday. We have to appreciate it. I can assure you that the cloud poured out and started captivating and involving all the people. No people. Everybody was moved. Everybody was impacted. That was the first day, and peace returned to our hearts. Since we saw that God was starting to do that work, it was such a great work in that place. In spite of all the opposition, I didn't even remember about the storm. We didn't even have the chance to watch television because after the services were finished, we had people to assist. And we only slept for two or three hours to sleep. We didn't have time to watch the news. But I want to tell you that on Saturday, I had to do the first part of what would come over the United States. A great whip will come over the nation and will wound the nation as never before. And that the government, of course, would never be better. Of course, it will be worse. What I said, actually, it seemed to be judgment over the nation, and they had to hear it. But among all that, God was doing this because of his love to turn the heart of the people. And the gospel was deformed, they were deviated to humanism, to the people charming, to make the people feel good, but not to take them to, to the presence of God. They were so deviated, but God in his love, through this, all this work, they, he would bring them back to the church, to his essence, to his presence. So all that was a strong message, but with a precious, precious call for the people of God. The call for the people of God and for those who were there is God has called you. And I want to tell you this, for those who are watching, God has called you. He brought you from different nations. He brought you from different situations. I believe that each one of you had a great need in your personal life. But you know something? The word of God was overabundant. His anointing, his work was overabundant. It covered all the human needs to accomplish what God wanted to perform, to open a place for God to pour out in this nation of United States. And after the visions, and after my husband also said some words, we had a beautiful service where the Lord moved again with his precious presence in our hearts. But at night, 
that Otro Saturday another service so we had a morning and a night and in the service in the evening the pastor, the pastor asks for a, a song of praise that I don't remember its name and he says it's a song of joy I don't remember it which one was the first song and the people start dancing they start going around en un lugar, como everything turns sabemos, into a place that de la we, the places de Dios, that we know de full of the presence of God and freedom and I want to tell you estoy muy rápido, for those who are watching me I want to tell you that God told me and he showed me a vision after that Saturday y durante and during ese acto that de fe, act of faith donde a bailar, where the people would come out to dance I was amazed. It was glorious. God showed me that he was setting free their hearts, bringing whiteness to their hearts. God, God was emptying their hearts to leave room, bringing whiteness to their hearts. And it was glorious. Their faces were like children faces rejoicing in the presence of God forgetting about all the burdens and God said I healed them I healed them and of course that service was precious later the joy of the Lord came part of the river came and I can tell you but a lot of things happened happened in that service but Sunday came And on Sunday, the presence of God was occupying all the place, even physically. That was the time when we saw you, the people of Uruguay. On Sunday, we saw you rejoicing, we were rejoicing too. But God told me, well, I have something else prepared for today. And I was watching, God, this is glorious. We have experienced moments in which the people don't even want to come out of the floor. They, they are not, not even thinking of eating. They are, everybody's talking about Christ. Everything is centralized in the person of Jesus. What else could it be? And I turn around a little bit more and I feel, oh, Lord, please don't take me now. And Uh, the, later I saw my husband my husband he was completely moved and I felt, I felt the Lord he was embracing him so I go and I embrace him and when I embrace him I spend some moments with him there and he he, he was filled by the presence of the Lord as a result of that God took him to his presence He was taken out of his body. God took Era him to his presence. No, it was no so extraordinary. Nada, we didn't do anything. We just Pero left the music playing. But all the people Entonces started no, to, no, no to be moved. Solo we didn't do anything. We just looked. Y, y solo lo que había es la the greatness of God was there. La the manifestation la of the presence of God was una there. Mucho mayor In a greater que sphere than what we had expected. Una esfera donde no había ningún tipo de resistencia. No resistance no was ya todo around. Lo que podía Satan hacer wasn't able natural. to do anything. Y lo había hecho, pero no había resultado. No podía entrar en el mundo espiritual. He couldn't come into the spiritual realm because the cover of the presence of God was there. It was so extraordinary. Y no podía la gente oponerse aunque tenían en sus corazones problemas gravísimos. Problems in their hearts. Porque estaba tan fuerte. Because the presence of God was so strong. Y eso es extraordinario. It's extraordinary. Les voy a decir because todo I want to tell you that all this razón. God did it because of a reason. Ese día sentí que that day I felt that we were invested as in, in a vision he showed me some time ago. We were invested in that precious life and presence Éramos of mudados. God. We were changed. Y creo que los que we lo were transformed. Fueron, and I believe that those who experienced that 
los que lo experimentaron pueden decir oh, algo me dijo Silvia y me gustó mucho me dijo antes, para mí hay un antes y un después antes que fui a Estados Unidos a ir a la conferencia y después que vine de la conferencia para mí hay un antes y un después no quiero volver jamás a ser más no quiero pensar como piensan los demás. No quiero tener negativismo. No quiero nada. No quiero nada. Hay un antes y un después. Y yo creo que para todos los que fueron para ustedes también. Tal vez que esperaron por tanto tiempo. Que la presencia de Dios volviera a sus corazones y los infectiera, los llenara nuevamente, que pudieran sentir esa libertad que ustedes habían sido llamados a ella, que otra vez volviera la esperanza eterna de Cristo Jesús y el propósito de Él en cada uno de sus vidas. Creo que eso fue lo extraordinario. Y puedo decir más. Dios dijo que Orlando sería un lugar de refugio. Y algunos preguntaron a través de emails, cosas que nos están mandando. Quiero decirles que no hemos tenido tiempo de responder, pero que ahora que estamos en Uruguay vamos a conectarnos con ustedes. Pero quiero decirles esto, sí. Orlando es un lugar de refugio. Aunque Dios nos dijo que todos los que estuviéramos presentes ahí y que éramos investidos, llevábamos ese refugio donde fuéramos, también se habló algo en el mundo espiritual, en el lugar que está latente, en ese lugar, para la gloria de Dios. Mientras todo esto estaba sucediendo, quiero decirles que la tormenta pasó por adelante nuestro. Y en el momento de la gloria del culto del domingo, donde el pastor fue llevado y todos nosotros nos íbamos con el Señor, quiero decirles que la tormenta pasó por arriba. Y el destino de la tormenta fue Nueva York y New York. Y su destino fue New Jersey y New York. Manhattan y otras ciudades de los Estados Unidos close to the fue coast and it was devastating una de las peor, no it was one of the worst que haya storms una tormenta, sí, the worst que haya storms in New York es la primera vez It's en la historia solo sucedió una vez antes happened, pero fue only porque el río Hudson tenía una pérdida River donde Hudson. entró en, en el año 1909 probablemente eh, donde había entrado agua a los um, subways que son que son los subtes. Había entrado agua a los subtes en 1909 por esa causa. Pero jamás But por una tormenta. Before, Quiero decirle todos los subtes de Estados storm, Unidos de, de Nueva happened. York estaban inundados. New York was no pudieron funcionar. La ciudad paralizada. The city was no había alimentos. There was Gente no para food. tener bebé People tuvo que tener bebé con babies. un celular. They had to no había luz have light with their cellular los médicos no tenían oportunidad They didn't have the chance to work because the water was everywhere. Lo inundó el agua, arrasó. Water devastated everything. Estaba todo destinado para la Florida. Había caído en Cuba. It was set for Florida. Y había It first hit in Cuba. Um, a la ciudad de... And it vanished again Ay, the city. No. Uh, I'm sorry. ¿verdad? The country sí. of Haiti. Que, miren qué interesante. Look Hacía how pocos interesting. Días que en Haití, Few days before. Al In Haiti, they, they said, we are going back to Voodoo because that's our religion in the end. And that storm came and they were destroyed again. And even over us, when we were enjoying the presence of God, Mientras estábamos While disfrutando we la presencia de Dios presence of God, que nos impactaba, estaba pasando sobre us. nosotros. Y Dios me dijo, no te que era me, lugar. Y se fue para otro lado. Si nos hubiera tocado, no quiero pensar. I don't know what would have happened. Lo que puedo decir es que nada puede detener la mano de Dios. But I can tell you that nothing can stop the hand of God. Y el propósito de Dios en esta hora, ni la tremenda juicios, ni la oscuridad, ni la maldad. ¿Y qué puedo decirles a ustedes? También no solo la tormenta, sino las elecciones en Estados Unidos muestran el gran sacudón de Dios sobre la nación. 
God's shaking the nation, showing that once again this destructive hand will harm the country again. But which one is the answer? El temor? No. Fear? No. ¿Cuál es la respuesta? Which one is the answer? La persona de Jesús. The person of Jesus Christ. La cercanía the closeness la of the presence of God. Que no es solo un which is not only a feeling or a nice feeling in our sino hearts, sino que es algo tan poderoso, tan so glorioso, so que nos puede preservar en toda condición y situación. Y es lo que Dios está anunciando para este tiempo. Dios abrirá lugares en la tierra. Places on the earth donde serán lugares de refugio de los juicios sobre las naciones como Argentina ustedes from saben the judgments of the nations like in Argentina no muy poco you know, antes told you that había hablado por internet también como aquí a, la, a una conferencia en Argentina in anunciándolo in Argentina, y ahora más terrible now, los juicios desatados son tremendos sobre esta nación Argentina. con el propósito With de volver el corazón the heart de of his people a donde pertenece, to where it belongs to Jesus Christ. Así que toda so, la conferencia fue the conference in Orlando en vivo was y directo, alive and straight, un ejemplo de lo que Dios va a hacer en cada refugio espiritual donde se reúnan los verdaderos hijos de Dios han de ser investidos. And they will be invested, they will receive the presence of God in a way that will keep them, will keep us from this time we are experiencing. It's glorious. Don't you think so? We were able to feel the first fruits. We were able to feel them. What else could I do? How glorious hand of God, as the pastor said today, he's so faithful. In every he said to us, don't look at the circumstances, don't worry about them, just trust me. That is the real refuge. Ojalá sean despertadas como ustedes en especial, like you, tanto sea en Taiwán, Canadá, so en Taiwán, United States, en todos los lugares donde Dios está manifestando, is manifesting llamándolos and calling a participar, to participate, no solo en tres días, días not only pero for those three que realmente days, sus vidas sean llenadas de la obra really de Cristo Jesús. Así que Dios sigue invirtiendo y preparando para esta tremenda hora. Y que Dios siga invirtiendo y preparando para esta tremenda hora. Pero también aquí en Uruguay. Uruguay. También aquí en Uruguay. Also here. Ojalá muchos I hope that many people are awakened. Y digan and they en su vida. Say in their lives, Yo aquí hago un paréntesis. I make a paréntesis. No quiero ser un amargado. I determine that I don't want to be bitter. I don't want to be resentful. I determine that no in my life. Si yo no acepto al Señor, la oscuridad que está Lord sobre Jesus la tierra Christ, me va a penetrar en toda la vida. The darkness no of the earth will penetrate all the areas of my life. Pero si yo determino en mi corazón que Cristo sea el centro, that Christ may be the center of my life, and I realize that all the senseless, which means to live in this sphere of life, that all the senseless, which means to live in this sphere of evil. Y levantar los ojos a Cristo Jesús y and if I lift up my eyes to Jesus Christ and I say I look at you to surrender my life because you are the only one who is my refuge y no vas a refugiarme en un estado de amargura Lord, no vas a refugiarme en un estado de bitterness or rebellion. no vas a refugiarme en un estado de indiferencia en un estado de indiferencia para dar testimonio de tu obra, Señor, to give testimony of your work, you will look for the best of the human heart for you, which is the surrendering. You will look for that. Y mi esposo tiene mucho para hablar de eso. Vas a hablar para mí. Has many things to talk about this. Will you talk about this, Pastor Ken? We need to hear that. They need to hear that. I want to tell you that we love you. 
and these first fruits we want them to continue so that the work of God continue in all of you. Amen. As Annie has shared uh, today, I would like to uh, look briefly in the book of Ezekiel, which has been primarily the book that we have consulted and used during this conference as the three days that we were there in order. We want to remember that prophet Ezekiel was shown many things. Uh, pertinent to the spiritual sphere, the celestial sphere. In fact, many of these revelations were given uh, when he was in the spirit or he was taken in the spirit. He was taken from his body and he would fall into a trance uh, through the Holy Spirit. His spirit was elevated to the celestial realm. And there God would reveal the most of the things that uh, we read in the book that carries his name. That's why uh, the things that he shares, that he puts out, have a high uh, exactitude and purity in their meaning in the word. That is why we want to hear and pay attention from this prophet. But there in the book of that he has, that he shares through the Word of God is where we can see the, the different symbols, purposes of God in our lives. He speaks many things, sometimes hard to understand, but we must comprehend that what he sees in the Spirit are things that in eternity we will also share and see. That's why it is a good idea to become used to it through the Word of God, the words that, bring, that are brought by Ezekiel in this case. We read Ezekiel chapter 43, verse 10, where God says to the prophet, Thou son of man, show the house to the house of Israel, that they may be ashamed of their iniquities and let them measure the pattern. And if they are ashamed of all that they have done, make known unto them the form of the house and the fashion thereof and the aggressors thereof and the entrances therefore and all the forms thereof and all of the ordinance thereof and all the forms thereof and all the laws thereof and write in their sight that they may keep the whole form thereof and all the ordinance thereof and do them. This is the law of the house. This is to say that God is telling Ezekiel that the repentance of Israel was conditioned or was conditioning them so they could understand the revelation that uh, God was bringing through the prophet as well as the forming and the ordinance of the temple. We want to clarify that this temple here that is described was never built. It has not been done in the natural, but in its symbology, it represents the building that God is doing in the spiritual sphere. Many times we have said the phrase in which God does not dwell in, in temples made by man, but made in the Spirit. Therefore, there's a spiritual temple. That's why God says to Israel that he is to reveal to them the disposition and way of the temple. Only if they would repent. So what we are reading is for, the understanding is for those that have repented, those who have been sealed by the blood of Jesus Christ and have been regenerated. Only they, they can understand the revelation. Therefore, he brings out with a lot of detail 
del templo Details de Dios. About the temple of God. Entonces quisiera I would like detallar algo que compartimos that I, uh, unos cuantos años atrás, some years ago. porque tiene relación con lo que Dios Because está hablando en este tiempo, tiene relación con lo que compartió Annie respecto Annie de los lugares de refugio, respecto de esos lugares que tienen conectividad about those places that have como connectivity. si fuera un wifi fi espiritual, like if it was a, a spiritual donde wifi. vas y te conectas con la frecuencia de Dios, donde hayas una conexión y te conectas con la frecuencia de Dios, donde hayas una conexión en la uh, comunicación que Dios trae uh, radio a través de su Espíritu Santo. Entonces vamos ahora en el mismo libro de Ezequiel, capítulo 41 ahora y versículo 18. Ezequiel 41, verse 18. Creo que es oportuno que apliquemos lo que leemos aquí, lo que hemos compartido, pero que tiene mucha relevancia a este tiempo, that this, a este momento. That we are to share has a lot of y aquí relevance to Ezequiel us, the time we are going hace la descripción and here Ezekiel makes a description de aquellas cosas que él ve en cuanto a la casa, en world. cuanto al templo que Dios le muestra en los cielos. The temple that God y dice, reveals estaba in labrada, and it says, se refiere a los muros, se refiere a la pared and it was made with del santuario, estaba labrada was made con with the cherubines and palm trees. y palmeras. Entre querubín y palm tree was between cherub and palmera. cherub, and every cherub had two faces. Versículo 20 dice, and verse 20 also says, from the ground up to above, the door with cherubim and palm trees made. Por toda Thus la pared was the wall of the temple. El templo aquí descrito the temple here por parte described, de Ezequiel, uh, al igual que el tabernáculo siglos antes, the temple that was al built igual que el templo edificado, uh, before, uh, as the temple that Salomón, was built by Solomon, eran configurados de acuerdo al plano que Dios le había asociado a sus plans, o que Dios le había asociado a sus plans, o que Dios le había asociado From the heavens to the earth. It is interesting to notice that it says the book of Hebrews, chapter 8, verse 5, says it says that it serves as a symbol to the things that are celestial. As it was said to Moses when he was going to live the ta tabernacle, look. Todas las cosas Do as I say, conforme al modelo in que se me ha mostrado en el monte. Es decir, you el the, modelo de Dios para su templo, para su santuario, the model for his temple, el lugar y la morada de su presencia es un modelo que his, viene de lo alto. His dwelling is a no es model that comes from heaven. It doesn't, it's not built around our no concepts. Es it's not built around our ideas. ideas or philosophies, they could be right or similar, but it is not the same. And this, this model is built from God's heart, from God's mind. It's important that we understand then this position and the place of this temple so we can uh, correctly position our hearts, uh, our own body, so we understand we are the temple of God. Pero lo que señalamos en particular But in particular, in the text that we have just read in Ezekiel 41, verse 18, it's very interesting to notice the ornamentation. We see as Ezekiel uh, describes that the walls were covered with these figures of cherubims and palm trees. They all alternated one and the other. Each figure over the walls and walls were carved into the wall. Three years ago, maybe four, when we were working in this place, that the embossing or carving, the embossing or carving of these images creates an ambient. Las propiedades it creates a perfect sonido a en place un for the sound. Yo no sé and, si Ezequiel lo sabía I don't know if si Ezekiel Dios, knew that, por supuesto, lo debe but uh, surely God knew of this, and he also templo. formed the plans creo que eso of no this es temple. La razón. But that's not the purpose, si bien tenga su validez, though it might have its validity. Si puesto Dios que uh, God y put palm trees en las and, and cherubs. 
estaban allí representando he put, he put una realidad que es importante para nosotros, that is que tiene relación con nuestra convivencia con la presencia de Dios y nuestra capacidad de atraer and to attract y de atrapar la presencia de Dios God's en nuestras vidas life, y en nuestro entorno. In, in our de hecho, surrounding. está para simbolizar It's there to la relación de los celestiales con lo terrenal, with the porque en la figura de los querubines tenemos, the figure por of the supuesto, la representación de representation criaturas hechas en perfección, en santidad, in in perfection, en su totalidad para la adoración, para el reconocimiento, para el servicio de la persona de Dios, person siempre God. muy conexas esas Always figuras a la santidad de Dios, donde uno ve referencias en la palabra de Dios, especialmente en el libro de Ezequiel, lo uno lo puede leer en el capítulo 10, cuando uno ve referencias a los que siempre están relacionados a la santidad, a la misma presencia de Dios, están rodeando el trono, están allí inmersos, están allí en su gestión, al servicio a Dios, a la adoración a Dios. Entonces, de hecho, por un lado tenemos la figura que es casi lógica que esté so, representada en el templo de Dios. Most logical sí, object there, yes. The cherubs, we could say yes, they are something that could be attributed and that belongs there sobre los muros, sobre las paredes de la to the casa. walls of the temple. Pero también, But also, alternating los querubines, the cherubs and the angels, el we have de las the symbolism of the palm destacado. trees. El significado de las palmeras. And we've said Cuando that the palm trees, referencia a Salmos 92, uh, Psalms versículo 92, 12, verse 12, dice, el when it says, the just florecerá shall flower como la palmera. Like the palm tree. Es decir, que siempre uno interpreta like las escrituras a través de la comparación de una escritura so con otra. Es una de las reglas de la interpretación escritural. Pero dice... El justo, Salmo 92 y versículo 12, florecerá como flourish, la palmera, crecerá like palm como cedro en el Líbano, like plantados en la casa de Jehová, en los atrios de nuestro Dios florecerá. Halls, y de hecho, people. en esto tiene algo parecido so la casa, eh, el templo with del milenio, el templo nuevo mostrado a Ezequiel con el templo de Salomón como también con el tabernáculo porque en todos esos recintos estaba la figura de los querubines pero solo aquí encontramos las palmeras ¿por qué? ¿por qué la representación de la palmera? porque es la representación de la convivencia de lo celestial That which is con heavenly lo porque la palmera es de la tierra, el querubín es del cielo, earth, la palmera the representa a aquel que ha sido justificado por la preciosa sangre de Cristo, por las virtudes de Cristo, y de hecho nos está mostrando simbólicamente que donde Dios nos quiere ubicar es en el mismo lugar de su presencia, como lo dice tan claramente el salmista plantados Planted en la casa de Dios, in the house of God. plantados Planted en los atrios in the halls of his Pero temple. la revelación al profeta revelation anticipa algo más que lo que also había declarado y manifestado el more salmista. Than what he had Porque él dice, los justos says, están plantados en los atrios de Dios. Pero en el simbolismo, en las paredes del templo visto por There Ezequiel, in Vemos la palmera en medio de querubines, no meramente en los atrios de la casa de Dios, pero en el mismo lugar santo, en el mismo lugar santísimo, en el santuario de Dios, allí vemos la palmera. Entonces, ¿qué nos está indicando esto? Que el profeta está anticipando los resultados de la redención. The result está anticipando of redemption. los resultados de la obra de Cristo. Solo Cristo podría Christ. elevar la posición del creyente, del cristiano, 
para que to position to where we could be con la misma in the presence of God in the same presence of his los holiness nos so along with the cherubs we can also be in the presence Dios of the Lord tres veces santo. Es realmente the una God that maravilla. is three, three times es holy de las, de los this is one of the great mysteries de la gracia of the del evangelio of the que nos message conforma, of salvation que levanta, que that it raises us and elevates us to that place Pero to that creo position que cuando el salmista I also believe that when the psalmist makes reference to en, the palm trees in a place of the desert, it's also showing the strength and the durability de esa, de ese árbol, of de that tree. ¿Por qué? Porque siempre está asociada a lugares áridos. Si bien es always associated to cierto, hoy en día cuando uno a veces dry, ve las propagandas y, uh, y ve en la televisión algún reclame de una agencia de viajes siempre te van a pintar a, a una an palmera uh, en un lugar place, tipo paraíso, un lugar de vacaciones. We'll es un símbolo quizás de un pasaje romántico de un lugar hermoso para visitar. To Pero esa no era la idea que tenía en su mente el salmista, porque él estaba concibiendo en la pantalla de su imagen, de su, de su mente, de su corazón, el concepto de una planta capaz de estar en un ambiente muy duro y sin embargo very difficult poder natural environment, poder but be able to survive, existir, be able to exist, in tal lugar. and even grow and Entonces, flourish. So it's indicating to us the purposes that God la has for us, the reason of why we survive, the, the reason why we can exist and victory among these difficult environments, spiritual difficult environments, where the a, a mano derecha como a mano izquierda en todo lugar, en todo tiempo la razón que podemos allí sobrevivir con éxito es porque It's tengamos nuestras raíces metidas really en el mismo santuario in, de Dios la misma presence, presencia de Dios y esto no es una exageración no es una ilusión sabemos reality, por ejemplo escrituras como la que leemos del apóstol Pablo en Efesios capítulo 2 versículo 6 dice juntamente con él nos and he raised us up with him and made us sit with him in the heavenly places in Jesus Christ he is saying that, that the same thing that was being described by Ezekiel as we saw the palm trees that were carved along the nos está diciendo que la posición y el lugar del creyente, del cristiano, es allí, en la presencia de Dios. Y esa es la razón de la abundancia de vida que le permite sobrepasar los embates de un entorno muy Pero podemos decir que esto también nos está representando a nosotros. Lo que tiene que acontecer en esos lugares de refugio, refuge, a los cuales ha hecho shelter, alusión which, la pastora, uh, pastor tanto sea hoy como también durante la conferencia. The, uh, conference lugares de conexión, lugares de contacto con Dios, lugares donde hay una conectividad espiritual, hay lugares donde hay una puerta abierta a la presencia de Dios y al cielo. Y la razón es, es muy sencilla. Y esto lo hemos de destacado también durante la conferencia, especialmente en el último día. Les refresco la memoria de una escritura en Éxodo, perdón, Éxodo capítulo 25, capítulo 25 y versículo 22. 22. Porque ahí es donde vemos la profunda significación que tiene el detalle que nos da el profeta Ezequiel siglo después. Centuries later, y esto corresponde claramente a lo que hemos and this puts leído out what de parte del profeta. Ahí en Éxodo capítulo 25, Exodus 25 y versículo 22, 22 says, dice, y de allí me declararé a ti thee, y hablaré contigo. Otra traducción dice, tendré comunión contigo. 
de sobre el propiciatorio de entre los dos querubines que es lo que vio Ezequiel sobre los muros sobre las paredes del templo of the temple en los cielos vio querubín palmera y otro querubín la palmera plantada arraigada en medio de los querubines que nos representa que nos that significa esto us, lo que dicho, fue dicho por eh, Moisés Moses Ezekiel, de entre los dos querubines que están sobre el arca del testimonio es decir que ese lugar so that place es nuestro lugar de arraigo la razón que podemos florecer flourish, y prosperar prosper. en tiempos In difficult de escasez, de, in times de duras of need, condiciones espirituales, cuando los embates de la oscuridad parecen más fuertes que nunca. La razón es porque las raíces están metidas en el lugar santísimo, están metidas sobre el propiciatorio, están ahí metidas en el lugar del favor y de la misericordia de Dios, donde Dios habita, donde la gloria de Dios, donde la presencia manifiesta de Dios, allí está, está morando, allí arraigado, en el lugar de la sangre del sacrificio, por eso el último Domingo de la conferencia celebramos Sunday juntos la Santa Cena porque estamos celebrando la provisión de ese lugar que es más que simplemente celebrar el recuerdo el memorial de la sangre de Jesús of Jesus Christ, but es celebrar un estado es celebrar una provisión continua con es celebrar el hecho de que tenemos un recurso uh, donde no solo eh, recurrir pero tenemos un lugar donde podemos permanecer y ahí cuando hallamos el goce de nuestro lugar en Él es cuando hallamos la capacidad no solo de superar las circunstancias, no solo all de vencer sobre los embates del enemigo, attacks, pero tenemos también la capacidad de conectividad con Dios, de crear en nuestro entorno un lugar donde aquellos que están buscando situation. también la frecuencia uh, divina puedan llegar y puedan decir, no me dejas conectarme, be able to connect. no me dejas usar don't, don't, tu don't wifi. Use wifi, no me dejas, o oh, no me permitís también escuchar la voz de ese Dios que es real y tan verdadero y tan grande para so ti close. no me permitís el privilegio de convivir contigo en ese lugar eso es lo That's que Dios está mostrando que viene para aquellos to, to que persisten en fe que persisten en oración faith, que persisten persist en su amor en su devoción en su obsesión por la presencia de Dios ellos tendrán raíces que permitirán that will flourish, that will grow, que sobrevivan en victoria, victoria todo lo que se viene sobre la tierra entonces esto so, sin duda this, trae gran gloria para Dios. Glory to God. La gloria para Dios es cuando todo está en contra y su voluntad se impulsa igualmente. Cuando todo parece negativo, los suyos relucen con más luz y con más esperanza, con más esperanza. Entonces, queremos soltar un reto queremos challenge, desafiar queremos decir que aquellos que operan y que ejercen fe que ejercen amor y que ejercen oración y dedicación y que persisten van a ser aquellos que gocen de esa conectividad espiritual que va a prevalecer en vida y en bendición no solo en lo personal, no not solo como personal, iglesia, only as a church, pero también sobre naciones, over nations, sobre países, sobre over ciudades, cities, y por qué no, otros lugares, más allá well, de nuestras propias fronteras. Así que 
So, Vamos let us not no solo only to, a ampliar nuestra visión, uh, widen vamos our, a our vision, let us also deepen raíces. our roots. Vamos a decir not como only iglesia as a church, como as a believer, are we going to say as Christians, justified by the blood of Jesus Uruguay. Christ, Señor, Lord, more than nunca, ever, queremos I want to have a holy obsession con tu with your presence. Es that is our heritage, es that is y la vamos a that's something that we will follow, procurar, that we will go after, we will maintain a, a against marea, all difficulties, against all challenges. Even if a sandy también, storm comes by around us, lado, no cambia, this will not no change varía. God's grace, His Las power, His mercy. The conditions of that place will not change to those that hold on to Him. So, how many of you are ready to receive this challenge? We are before a very difficult and crucial hour. An hour in which great things God is going to do as well. My heart is not only just looking at the negative things. I'm looking at the glory. I feel the glory of God. I don't only want the one who gives me the gifts. I want the one that is, I want him. I want his presence. Do you have that desire tonight? So when you say to him, come to this place, say it from the deep con todo el respaldo de tu sed, como una oración, como una invitación, como un clamor, porque eso es lo que atraerá y seguirá atrayendo la presencia del Señor a nuestra iglesia, a nuestra ciudad y a nuestra nación. Díselo. Ven a este Lord, that same grace, that anointing that you brought during the conference, that same work of healing, of restoration, heal with your presence, release the hearts. Come to this place, O oh God. Lord, more of you, more of my life for you, Lord, I give myself to you. Lord, you are working in our lives. You are working. Hear it. Affliction moves. The hearts are healed. In the presence of Jehovah. presence of the King, in the presence of Jehovah. Now, Lord is ministering. And all the people of God say amen. We bless you tonight. We're happy to be together with you. And we give you a big hug to those that we have not had the opportunity to.